Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the finale of Halloween 2023. Welcome to Super Monkey Ball 2 House of Spooks. I've had my I've actually had my eye on playing this uh, mod for a Halloween for two years, and I'm only doing it now because I wanted to. Uh, so I'm very excited. I'm ready to get into it. Uh, by all means, you can save me a fucking memory card. That's fine. Hi, Duke. How are you doing tonight? I hope you're wonderful evening. Thanks for joining us. What's happening? What's going on? I'm assuming it's another sleepless night. If so, where? Tragic, unfortunate, and I'm so sorry. But I hope you're doing well, though, regardless. Nobody, how are you doing tonight? I hope you're having a wonderful evening, and thanks for joining us. What's happening? What's going on? Yes, it's time to be spooky. Time to be scary. Time to be creepy. Well, I'm more tired, so hopefully sleep comes sooner. Fair, I hope so, too, because you deserve it. Okay, story mode. story mode. I don't know that this has a story. I don't think it does. I think it's. I. 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 Wouldn't that be funny if it did? Actually, just. Just make sure you don't slow down. Uh, I'll try to make sure. I'll try to make sure too. Um. Anyways, um. Our name. It's a. Uh, Beautiful name. Beautiful name for a baby boy. Oh, there is actually story. Well, I don't I don't care. We're not here we're not here for the monkey we're not here for the actual monkey ball story. I'm here for I'm here for I'm here for monkey ball. I'm here for the gameplay. This is tombstones. Let's go. Okay, all right. Where I need to figure out where to go here. Uh, this is scary. This is this is. Uh, oh, never mind. Goodbye. Do I have? Oh, yes. No. Okay. Yeah. No. I can just continue doing it. It's fine. Don't slow down, or it will get. Oh. What's gonna get me? Duke, what's gonna get me? Duke, what is gonna get me? Hey, that's scary. Hey, you're scaring me. Hey, I'm getting. I'm getting scared. Uh, Jeepers Creakers. What? What did I just say? Jeepers Creakers? Sure, why not? Sounds like the, the worst Scooby Dooism. Like, that's what. That's like what Bad Velma would say. Jeepers. Jeepers Creepers. Oh, okay. I probably need the momentum from this. It's fine. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. Where is the... Oh, goodbye. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Okay, I can see where I'm going now. I'm being normal replaying Origami King for 102 uh, Deathless in Battle Limits. I can't, uh, I can't easily explain. Oh, that's... Wild? Okay. You know what? Fair enough. If that's what you're... If that's what you want to do, then, like... No, nothing's to stop you. Damn. I still need to play Origami King. Origami King is just something I have not touched yet, period. I've owned Origami King for nearly three years and I haven't touched it, period. Oh, oh wait, I don't, might not even have to use that. I might even have to use the platform on the left. I might, I might be able to do this without that. Jesus. Um... Honestly, I don't even really get- here's the thing, like, I, I probably should play Origami King regardless, however, uh, you, I kinda don't care, is the thing. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Uh, I kinda don't care, is the thing. Now that we 100% know that there is a Thousand Year Door remake, I don't care. I mean, I should still play it because, like, I own it, but, but like, it's still kinda wild. Oh, this is invisible. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Yippee! 
come on, I gotta literally go my way up. Oh, I can barely see that. Oh my god. Uh, I like the background of this, but, uh, oof. It is a little bit rough to see. Okay, so... I don't think it's this way. I think it's this way. Oh god, okay. Nope, goodbye. I've said it a lot, but it's a really weird, it's a really case, regardless of, uh, uh, a really weird case. Love it regardless. You know what? And that's what matters. If you like it, then, uh, I can't, then no one in the world can stop you. Literally more power to you. Like, literally, if you like something that other people do not like, like, there is nothing wrong with that. Like, in fact, again, there's more power to you. Enjoy what you enjoy, as long as it's not harmful. And I'm not about to fucking say that... Huh? Oh god, this is why this should be invisible fucking platforms and monkey ball. Whatever. Um... Goodbye. You're gonna- you're going kinda go slow there, Austin. Well, I'm sorry, but uh... Do you see what I'm working with? Do you literally see what I'm working with right now? It's, uh, there's nothing. I'm literally walking on nothing. I'm, I'm not even walking on sunshine. Whoa! I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa! Okay, so I'm assuming it's not this way. Is it this way? What? The monkey muncher? Uh, huge fear. Massive fear. Uh, that's... Incredibly scary. Hey, what the fuck? The mo the monkey muncher? Ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga, ooga booga. Oh wait. Oh, okay. I see. That's really weird because usually that would be a that I thought that was a barrier. Then I guess it's not. Okay. I do not entirely know how I feel about that, but that's fine. Uh, oh my god, okay, I see. Oh, goodbye. It's the beast that eats slow little monkeys. What the fuck? You ever think about five little monkeys jumping on the bed, one fell off and broke his head? That's fucked up. It's fucked up that that happened to those monkeys. Not gonna pretend it's a perfect game. It's right to really run between trying to be more than an action, uh, trying to be more of an action game. Oh wow, I just completely fell off. Uh, trying to be more of an action game than trying to be an RPG. If I recall, we're using like unused files, playing a scrappy XC system. But anyways, monkey ball spook. That's very fascinating. I mean, like, that's very fascinating to hear that there might be um, un like dummied out in EX a dummied out EXP system. I. Here's the thing, I would look at, like, the... I would honestly be interested in looking at, like, the, the, uh... The Cutting Room 4 for this game, except, again, like, I haven't played it yet, and I actually basically know nothing about it. Like, I... Origami King has basically not had anything spoiled for me. Like, I'm pretty sure nothing... I, I know basically nothing other than what the trailer material showed me. I know literally nothing, which is crazy because the game has been out for this long, but you know, regardless, it just is what it is. Uh, I do want to play it. Honest, so I, I keep a document, I, I've, I've kept a document of uh, things to do on stream, and one of them has been play Origami King, albeit I don't even know if I want to do that. I really don't even know if I want to do that at this point, actually. I don't actually, because that's not a common saying where I grew up here. Fair enough. That makes sense. Yeah, no. So, uh, five little monkeys jumping on the bed is like a like is a cautionary tale for little children to you know not be reckless and like listen. It's, it's it it very much is both like don't be reckless and also listen to your parents because your parents know what's best kind of story because their because their mom basically tells the monkeys over and over again do not jump on the bed and all of them end up with head injuries and they have to go to the hospital it's always fucked me it always fucks me up that like fucking f most fairy tales are, are like are some version of are just some tamed down version of like a very fucked up grim's tale 
Like, in itself, that is very fascinating to me, but, like, it's also very haunting to know. Like, I think The Little Mermaid has very- I think The Little Mermaid is uh, originally very fucked up, actually. I'm trying to think of what- I mean, we still tell, like, stories about, like, how Red, Little Red- We still tell the story of, like, R Little Red Riding Hood and how her fucking grandma gets eaten by, like, a sentient wolf. Which is already kind of a fucked up thing here, because in that way, if the wolf is sentient, that means that it has killed un- Like, if, if that wolf is a sapient creature, it has literally killed another sapient creature. And, like, I guess the argument here is, like, the, the wolf's nature is, like, is to be- like this, but like it's still kind of very bizarre, actually. Oh, that I was a little bit. I cut the corner there. Fuck me, monkey! God, I need to fucking add that to my soundboard so bad. I need, I need fucking from the Super Mario Bros. movie, monkey. I need that so bad. I also need a bomb. God, I just want to watch the Super Mario Bros. movie again. Starlight, how are you doing tonight? I hope you have a wonderful evening, and thanks for joining us. What's happening? What is going on? Welcome to Super Monkey Ball 2, House of Spooks. Uh, uh, oh god, okay, okay, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, we're good, we're normal, I think. I think, oh my god, there's a green goal for this? Oh my god, there's a green goal for this. Oh, holy shit. Okay, I don't like that. I'm not even gonna try for that right now. Um, I don't even think I have the time for that. I think I'm good? Yeah, I'm good. Cool. I don't even have the time for the green goal. I'm not even gonna try. Not not this run. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, I see. Hmm, I'm actually quite tired. Austin, if your time counter ever is in the he will eat you. Bye. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fucked up. Fucked up. No. No, 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 no. I don't want the fucking one to eat me. Ah! That's scary. Duke, if that means that you're adding to bed now, uh, good night. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for joining us, even for the small bit. I will see you around. Uh, a uh, good night. A uh, good night. Oh god. Okay. 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 No, we're normal. We are. We're normal now. We're normal for right now. We're normal for right now. We're normal for right now. It's fine. We're good. We're good. No, we're not good. Bye. Uh, good night, Duke. Bye bye. Sleep tight. So no, no, sisters cut off their toes, make their shoes better. Yes, no, you're right. You're completely right. That that's also very fucked up. Like holy shit. Yeah, they just. Oh, where the fuck am I? Goodbye. Good night. Yeah, no, that is also incredibly fucked up. One hundred percent. Like yeah, they did cut off their toes in order to fit into the slipper, and then they still didn't fit in anyways. Like bruh, where was that in the Disney version? I think we need to bring back fucked up horror. Actually, wait. Are Grimace Fables just like the original creepypastas? No. Oh no, 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 no. I think I've made a horrible realization. Holy shit. I think specifically that one of them couldn't fit at all, even with the toast cut off, and the other one only needs to cut off her pinky toe. Fucked up. Oh my god. Terrifying. This is fucking making- okay. I do think it's very funny that we're kind of, like, returning to, like, a little bit of, like, a Grimm's, uh, a Grimm's, uh, tales sort of era of, um, of fairy tale media, because specifically, like, we're watching now with the with some of the some of Disney's like most noble IPs kind of falling back into public domain like Winnie the Pooh. Um, it's very funny to me to have like fucking that like monstrous that 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 very 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 monstrous um, Winnie the Pooh movie. Hold on, hold on. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I don't want the trailer. I just want the poster. There's a second one coming out next year? Fuck off! What do you mean? Chat, what, what is this fucking... What do you mean there's a second Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey coming out? Oh my fucking god. Hold on, I'm gonna... Hold on. 
Wait, let me get the fucking poster for this. Guys, I can buy it on DVD right now from Amazon. Fucking look at this monstrosity. They fucking put, they fucking put like just a lumberjack in a fucking like... It looks like they put a Shrek costume in like Simpsons yellow colored paint. Oh my god, it's fucking... It looks so bad, honestly. I think it's that uh, they did fit, but the prince's visor. Oh, oh, hold on. Wait, shit. I'm. I short chat did that. I think that they did fit, but the prince's visor was like, bro, there's blood in the shoes. What are you on? <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, no, Blood and Honey is not a child's. It's not a. It's not a children's movie. No, 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 no. It's a horror movie based around Minnie the Pooh because Minnie the Pooh is now in public domain, but it's still wild. I personally feel like a lot of children media including like uh include like really dark fate for children. Yeah, no, they they do. A lot of like there's a pretty solid there's a pretty solid chunk of like children's media that is just like dark face. They're just horror 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 horror. I did actually watch the FNAF movie, by the way. Um I have actually now seen the FNAF movie. I'll talk about that I'll talk about that in a moment. Oh. oh, cholera! Crazy to Freddy Fast. What? Hello? Hello? What does that mean? Uh, Luigi Mansion counts. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion absolutely counts. That, that's a pretty good example of like children, child-friendly horror. In fact, like I respect the fuck. You know what? Actually, wait. Um, I'm gonna do something really quickly. I'm gonna move over my water, the 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 watermark over to here, just so then like because there's nothing over there. I think that just makes a little bit more sense for this. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, no, Luigi's Mansion, like, literally... I, I mean, I still love Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion is just good kind of, like, cartoon horror. You know what I'm saying here? Like, it literally just is, like, really well done. It is kind of fucked up, because Luigi is exploring this, like, very dark and, un like, un... Uh, like like, fucked up manner. Like, he is exploring this place that is cruel and unusual to him, and it wants him dead. It literally wants to turn him into a ghost. It wants to turn him into painting. It's really good. Oh, right, and how Steven just totally dropped the gems got harvested. And then you lose the diamonds, uh, have, uh, walls made out of, uh, gems designed to be, uh, designed to be bricks. Yes, that is also fucked up. That is also pretty solid children's horror. Chorer? Chorer. Chorer. And they have faces, faces, literally, the wolves are just listening and they never comment on it. Yeah, no, uh, it's fucking insane, actually. It is really batshit. Yeah, I don't know, I don't really know what Rebecca was on for that one, for that, for that little bit of, uh, tip, for that little bit of info. I really don't know. It's definitely, uh, fucking wild, and then they don't ever talk about it. Also, like, the- yeah, no, it's- it's just weird, and it's fucked. But it's definitely is fascinating, though. Um, from, from the movie from Mansion 1, I think of, uh, The Thousand Year Door. Oh, like, with, like, the, um... Well, I like- I like the, uh, more existential horror that, uh, some of, uh, some of The Thousand Year Door presents, like- like, Dupless literally stealing your entire identity and your life and turning you into a shadow in which no one recognizes you at all. That's fucked up. That's kind of fucked, genuinely. I think it's cool as shit, though. Not gonna lie. Oh, fuck off! Steven Universe has a lot of world building that never got expanded upon. You're right, and it probably would have gotten more expanded upon if uh, Cartoon Network hadn't tried to cancel the show after the wedding. Just, it's, it's stupid and it still kills me and it's still whatever and then it literally got the most positive reception it got extraordinarily positive reception and then Cartoon Network was like uh oh we actually realized people want this like it's very wild uh oh uh oh uh oh monkey monkey on the loose M monkey on loose okay uh, I'm farther than I ever have been so let's go um it's gonna sweep over here it's fine eh okay 
Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. This is bad. Wait. Oh, what? That is not the way I'm supposed to go? Am I supposed to go the opposite way? Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's in line with it being a sickle. Okay. Okay, got it. Wait, do they call it a stickle because it's like us it's it's not a circle. It's like half a circle. A sickle, a circle. I maybe? Huh. Uh from the Ouija's Mansion one uh wait, uh it's hard to continue being normal and not shutting up about Origami King, but they do some really messed up body horror like get away because it's paper. Yes, uh I remember in the very first trailer of Origami King where they just straight up had like they peach was just not peach that was like paint that was like origami peach and it's like it's like scary because it's like she's treating it as it's normal it's like it is it does sound very body horror ish and that's really fa it's really fascinating itself i can always go tell that uh i could just gonna tell that uh that that frustrated a lot of fans who were really loved the lord setting up home world see here's the thing i always figured that the world build was as much as record trying to write it was character driven oh yeah i mean yeah these things are character driven but like in this way this okay if, I, mm, mm, you can't mm, i think these things are intertwined because these things are character driven on the one hand here we have we have literal gems that are that are like their entire purpose is to be like support to be like literal bricks in the wall of the diamonds manor of the of the of the di of the diamonds palace. Why is that? It's because the, that's how the di that that's how the diamonds treat other gems. They see them as objects, as 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 service, because they are supposed to be working for them and no one else. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! However, it is kind of bizarre. Then, in that way, then Steven never does anything about to, like, help the, the wall gems. You know, Steven has a lot of love and a lot of care for people and, like, humanity. And in that way, Steven doesn't do anything about them. You know, I'm, do you, do you, do you kind of get what I'm saying here? Steven doesn't really do anything to help them. And that is a time constraint thing, don't get me wrong. That was a time constraint thing. I'm not gonna argue that it wasn't. However, it's just, you know, it, it also says something about our main character, who, you know, just sees this and kind of has to deal with it, which is wild. Holy shit! Oh, he does. I'm here to see if you have a ge uh, wall gems walking around. Oh, do you really? I did not remember that. I did not remember that. See, here's the thing. I actually was watching. I was watching Steven Universe with a friend uh, earlier this year, and we have not continued doing that in a hot, hot second. However, uh, and we only got through the first half of- we only got through, like, the first half of Season 1, but in that way, like... Nope, nope, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I gotta see this, I gotta see this for myself. How does this work? Okay, I understand now. Oh god. No! Fuck! Ah! It's fine. Rocker probably intended Steven to help them just to work in the plot. No, that's what I'm saying here. It makes sense that this is something that Rebecca wanted and then it just didn't hap and it just didn't happen. Here's the thing, uh if anyone has never if no one's here is if anyone here has never seen like the mon monkey ball rom hacks and like what the community does in these there are some insanely good rom hacks for this fucking game for just for both the first well most 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 mods are for this game they're for monkey ball 2 over monkey ball 1 but yeah no like this the, the modding computer the modding community is fucking insane actually fuck oh you have to really fucking you really have the time that. It's fine. Ow! Goodbye. This is a mod. Yes, this is not. This is not a. Uh, this is not OG Monkey Ball 2. 
this is a fa this is a fan made project. Uh, like I said at the start of the stream, I've I've actually been interested in doing this mod for about two years. I've had this on my list of this is these are things to do, and specifically this is a thing to do for Halloween. So like I I'm doing it right now. I think you were talking about that. I think you did actually talk about that at one point. And honestly, I mean, okay, this is an interesting quarry to talk about here. Because I do actually think that it would be nice to have a version of the of the Earthbound Halloween hack by Toby Fox that does not include the slurs. Because they 100% are derogatory and not, like, reclaimed. However, um, on the flip side here... I, I I am a little mm, I don't know. I guess it's not. I guess if it's made by a fan, it doesn't actually really. If it if if there's a mod that re that removes them by a fan, I guess it doesn't matter. Because I was actually gonna argue here. Hmm, well, like, shouldn't we let them stay there to have the product be as it was, and have at, like I don't know. I was thinking of like we shouldn't really erase it, but I don't know. Like, but no, I'm being silly here. No, we should like actually. I would like to play the- I'd actually like to play the hack, and it might be fun to do on stream at some point, but I'm not about to let that- I'm not about to have, uh, just straight up slurs on stream. So, yeah. Come on! No! Ah! It's fine. I want to make sure there was already one up. I want to make sure that there wasn't one already, but, like, I think Starman.net was on it too, except for one too int intimidating. Uh, I have not touched the Starman.net forms in uh, a decade. I used to be active on the Starman.net forum, uh, and I, 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 I still really respect Starman.net as a site, period. It's one of my, like, it was like one of the first sites I ever really was interested in online. Um... But yeah, no, like, uh, I, I, uh, I think the forms are still pretty active, I just, I don't know. Uh, I think it should be up to the player, like, you know, shouldn't rest the fact that it happened. No, I, that's, that's where I've basically come to, like, that's kind of my, that's my perspective on this, because, yeah, if a player doesn't want to see the slurs, then they should, we should be able to at least acknowledge that they were still there. But, you know, not, uh, you know, we're not, like, erasing the history of it happening. I think as a deal breaker, you should be allowed to play the game without the mod. Yeah, I think that's completely fair. I think that's a very fair argument in this way. No, they're not. To be fair, yeah, no. I, again, it was a slur. It, it the use of the slurs in the Halloween hack are there only because that was a quote unquote funny humor in uh that fucking era. And, um, they're not, it, it's not, it really, it, it, it never, it never was, it was never appropriate, but, you know, it is of the times. Like, this is, I mean, this is an interesting thing to talk about, because, like, um, I, I mean, I love Homestuck, and Homestuck is now relevant, because it's Homestuck, uh, Homestuck Beyond Canon has returned back into production. Um, in this way, I mean... Homestuck has its own share of slurs. It's only it I it only uses the R slur and it uses autistic as a as a uh, derogatory term. However, other like like these it, it but it is of the time. Oh, I could have made that shit. It is of the time. It was it was a comic that ran from 2009 to 2016, and in that way, by the time 2013 rolled around, these the the these terms were not used in the comic anymore. But it's but you know it's it's it, you know Homestuck is a comic of the time, 100. You can't argue otherwise. It, it it just there are so many elements about the nature of it that it is a it is not a uh, contemporary piece. It is a of the time piece. But yeah, it does have these things. And I do like that um, the unofficial Homestuck collection actually has a has a setting to remove these uh, the, these slurs. And, you know, 
inappropriate usages of words out of the out of the story but yeah it should be up to the it should be uh, it really should be up to the to the to the reader you can't find it what can you what can't you find what are you what uh what's what what is it that you're what what was it that you're looking for holy shit oh my god i'm taking a real ass beating over here bro i am not beating the sickle allegations i'm not beating the sickle out of allegations Okay, it's fine. I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm normal. Let's go. Yeah, come on! I keep missing it. Ah! Whatever. Anyways, while you, while Starlight looks for whatever a we're looking for, um, like I said, I saw the FNAF movie. I actually watched the FNAF movie two nights ago. It's fine. It's mid. I mean, it, it, it's it's alright. Like, I, I say mid, and I, mid is a term that is now used more for, like, it's it's a bad film. I shouldn't say it's mid. It's an alright film. It's whatever. Um, I was hoping to find a picture on Reddit or something with caption, this game hasn't aged well, and the uh, picture itself was a more screenshot where Mario's saying the normal line, like, by, by the way, I do not support the trans... <laughs> tacked onto the end with no period. I think it went out of the text box even. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Hello? Can I get a little bit more context on this? That's fucking batshit. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. Come on! Yes! Thank you. There is no more context? Awesome. Great. So cool. Oh boy, paranormal hijinks. Freddy? Go! Freddy? Go! Okay. Reddit is weird, and I... I, I only paid attention to the more the Omori community on Reddit just even for a brief moment after I finished the game. Anyway, straight stream discussion. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh my god, awesome. Oh, it's a WebP. I can't fucking put that on screen. God damn it. Um, it's literally j for for viewers for VOD viewers. It's literally an image from Omori that it reads. It has Mari saying, "So, do you need me to help you with anything? All it costs is your subscription to my Patreon." Awesome. So, do you need me to help you with anything? All it costs you is a stream subscription to twitchtv Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. I am understanding the gimmick now. I do think about the fucking, um, I don't know if anyone know, if, I don't know if anyone here knows who the fuck Sixpence was on Tumblr, but that fucking thing makes me think about how Sixpence, um, a, Sixpence decided to fucking make a, uh, a post, like, she tried to make an entire service to being like, yeah, for, like, $60, I will spend 30 minutes with you, and we'll discuss, like, your problems. And it was, like, she was basically trying to practice therapy therapy without being a licensed therapist. And it was super fuck. It, I mean, it's bad, don't get me wrong. Very bad, actually. Uh, but it's super fucking funny, just out of context to think about. Sixpence is not a fucking good person. Do not fucking, do not follow Sixpence. Oh god, okay. How? Okay, so they're on a cycle. So this next one's gonna show up. I'm gonna... Mm, missed it. This nightmare is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. The only mobile, the only mobile game that you can go up to level 99 and... I'm fucking... I literally was just mixing up. I literally was starting to fucking say... The Final Fantasy XIV pitch, rather than saying Raid Shadow Legends. Here's the thing: anytime there's a Raid Shadow Legends ad at this point, I just ignore it. 
I am just straight up ignoring it. It's not fucking worth it. Ray Child Legends is, I, like, I don't know. I've never played Ray Child Legends, and I have no interest in doing so. I literally have no interest in doing so. Ow. Okay. Go, 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 go! Ugh, fuck. Actually, what I think I can do is I can bounce from one of these spinning platforms and fucking send myself flying across to the, the central pillar. I think I could do that, possibly. Mmm, I can. Doesn't mean it's a good idea. I'm gonna actually view the stage for a moment here because I need to think about this. Oh my god. Wait, how do I even get up there? Wait, now I'm actually very confused here. What do I do? Um, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's what I'm also trying to figure out here. My worry here is that there's switches on all four ends of this. And that's gonna lower down the tower? That's my guess. That's my guess, at least. But maybe, I don't know. This does definitely worry me. Or. What it might be is that I might, I, you know what, I don't think it's all, I don't think I have to get all three paths. I think I only have to choose one path and that will lower it down. I think that's what's, what's supposed to happen. Okay. Yeesh, yeesh. I really don't know how you're supposed to get onto those, those platforms and still, like, stay on them, but okay. I don't think I... Hmm. We'll find out. We'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Regardless, uh, yeah, the FNAF movie. Um, right... Uh, cause you just have to do everything in a minute. Yeah, you only have a, a minute to do this, so I think it makes sense that it's a, um... It's- there are three paths you can choose, you have to take one. I think that makes the most sense to me. Anyways, uh, the, fam the FNAF movie is fine. I mean, it's an alright movie. Actually, like, it's purely average. It's- Better than I expected it to be, because I expected basically nothing out of it. But, yeah, no, it's fine. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, so we're over here now. Oh, that's why. Yeah, okay, I should have figured. Got it. Like, it's kind of inoffensive, honestly. It's also just very weird in theory because, like, in this way, it is a. I don't want to say it's an, a generic movie, but it's it's not entirely like a. It's like us, it, you know. It's like goosebumps horror is the thing. Okay. It's not. Oh my god. Brother, my brother in Christ. Okay. If I let it turn on this axis, I will still fall off regardless. Okay. Uh, let's see what the final path has in store for me. Jesus Christ. Good news, though. They do actually spend five nights at Freddy's. That is the maybe the funniest part about it. It literally takes place exactly over five nights. That is ex that that is how many days it takes. It's just very weird and bizarre. Also, it was super funny because there was a f there was a fucking Matthew Patrick cameo. That's just a theory. A game theory. He does that. He does actually show up, and that's the thing. I knew he was gonna show up. I was told about this. I was warned he was going to show up. I fucking didn't. I I knew he was gonna show up. I knew he was gonna say it's that's just a theory. 
he still jump scared me. In fact, actually, that was maybe the scariest part of the film. I'm not kidding. I actually got jump scared by him. I did not, I did not expect him in that moment, and he showed up, and he actually jump scared me. In itself, it is uh, very funny, actually. Okay, no, goodbye. Into the pit, I fall. <sighs> Regardless, I don't know. Like, is it a move? Would I recommend seeing the FNAF movie? No, don't don't watch the FNAF movie. Don't go. Don't support Scott Cawthon. I didn't. But like in that way, like, yeah, it's fine. Like it. Like honestly, again, it was just very average. But it is such a fascinating thing to talk about the nature of this film and it how it is technically supposed to be a, you know, it's a horror film. It's supposed to be a horror film. Except in this way, it's a kid's horror film. Like, it's a horror film. It's, oh my god. I'm actually leaving the stage. I'm gonna come back to it. What happened? What happened? Okay, I was about to be like, what the fuck ha well, what happened to the background? Why is the world white now? Huh? Ready? What? Huh? You know what? Genuine- what? Huh? What happened? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Stop. Something's wrong with the mod. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Can you make an inappropriate joke? Um... Inappropriate one context. What the fuck happened? What happened to the mod? Oh yeah, go ahead. That's fine. What? 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 <laughs> no fucking way! <laughs> Ready? Die! Holy shit, Omori reference. Sobbing. I don't think this is supposed to be just four stages. I definitely don't think this was supposed to be just four stages. Cool. Until I, until I lock the next party game. What do you mean? This hits harder than the bottom of my staircase? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! I'm sobbing. Oh, this is Paper Mario music. Um... Yeah, we'll go with Baby for a moment. Hang on, what the fuck? Oh my god, maybe this is only four... four levels. I definitely did not think this was four levels. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. I was thinking white space too, that's also pretty funny. No, I need to look at something here. Something's not right. I'm almost certain that this is a full ass, like, Link mod. What the fuck?
I am super baffled. Welcome to White Space. Welcome to Welcome to Banana Park. You've lived here for as long as you remember. Oh my god. Yeah, no, hold on. What is- what happened? Yeah, this has a shit ton of levels. What? Huh? I- Okay. You know what? I'm going to intermission. I... I'm gonna see if there's a... I... Uh, 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 I'm so fucking baffled here. Yeah, give me a second. I guess I'm fucking up. I guess I'm gonna see if there's a newer version. I don't... I don't understand. This is the fucking- this is maybe one of the most baffling things I, that has happened on stream. Oh my god. Okay, well, fucking regardless here, um... <sighs> Anyways, I think they're gonna- I- I think- it, it will be interesting if they decide to do a FNAF 2 movie, which I hope they don't do it. I mean, this movie, the FNAF, this first FNAF movie, we gotta remember, nearly took a decade to finish. That in itself is fucking insane. But if you close your eyes, ayo, ayo. Does it almost feel like nothing's changed at all? But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like... What's up? Yeah, what's up? What's going on? No, I, I don't know what that song is. If you want to link it in fucking stream discussion, I'll, I'll like, listen to it. I mean, why not? It's a song that's played for the Moro trailer, but it's more famous for being played with bad, ed uh, bad ending of the credits. I see. I, I mean, I'm... Okay. I... I have some context to what happens on the, um... On the Omori route of Omori... I know some things, I don't know everything, mostly because I, it's not that I'm keeping it, I kind of am keeping it as a little bit of a surprise for myself, in case I ever want to decide to, you know, go back to it, but you know, we'll see. I, yeah, okay, that's fine, replace it. All right, let's uh, let's try this again. I think I've downloaded a more updated version. I think. Fuck if I know. Hey, dolphin, you want to show the fuck back up? There we go. Thank you, dolphin. Not the Omori route. None of its endings are technically the bad ending, although they are arguably worse. Yeah, that 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 is fair. Um. Close your eyes, you'll be here soon. 
Oh, I think I've heard this before, yeah. Yes, I have heard this before. Oh, wait. Oh, it's fine. The in ver the in game version is sped up. Okay, you know what? Hang on. Wait. I know how to solve this. I know how to solve this. Close. Nope. Stop. <laughs> Cocky, right? Your eyes <laughs> they won't. They won't. They won't catch this. Okay, let's try this again, actually. This is actually unlistable. This is actually unlistenable. I don't know why I did this. What? Yeah, something's not right here. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I guess my time by bow end, but it's actual torture. Yippee! Okay. I'm, 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 I'm not doing this bit anymore. Okay. What the fuck? This is definitely not right. Unless I have to beat- Unless I have to beat this- You know, hold on. Let me try to- Let me beat the other levels in this. I can't believe I died on a square. I'm so mad about this. It's- This is literally nothing. There's literally nothing here and I died. Oh my god. So I have a- So like- Recent, recently, I'd say this, I've probably had it for like three weeks. Um, in the last, yeah, uh, three weeks ago I downloaded like a new YouTube extension that allows me to like do a lot of different things with it, including like, um, do incredible slowdown and speed up on it. Um, going further than what YouTube actually will allow you to do naturally, natively, which is, uh, super nice actually. So that's how I was able to, like, super slow that down. In fact, actually, you know what? Wait. I'm... Um, where's Dolphin? Alright, sorry, Dolphin. Uh, alright, guys, who's ready for the most fucked up version of... Who's ready for the most fucked up version? Uh... This is music. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Hon. To. Dead. Ki. Nai. <laughs> this is this is actually maybe scary. This is I'm gonna be real here. This is scarier than the FNAF movie. This is straight up scarier than the FNAF movie. Oh my god. Human beings were not meant to sound like this. That's a low bar? <laughs> You're right. No, you're right. You're right, actually. Fuck me. I mean, to be fair, at least it actually has, like, the Omori vibes, actually. <laughs> Bro, is the beat gonna drop? No. No, absolutely no. Well, there it is. Yo, guys, no way! 
It's him! It's WD Gaster! <gasps> He's here! He's speaking to us right now! <laughs> He's fucking dying, holy shit! This... This is how Gaster died. <laughs> Gaster died playing fucking Super Monkey Ball 2 House of uh, fucking House of Spooks. These are his screams of pain. He is an he is an agonizing brutal torture. He can't fucking he needs help. Fucking can can someone in Wingdings say hello and welcome to Deltarune? You can help me by subscribing to my Patreon. That would be maybe the funniest thing possible. Goodbye. I'm done. I'm not- We only got through a minute of that. By the way, we only got through a minute of that. So, um... You know, I <laughs> really shows how shows how really fucking slow I made that. Oh my god! Ugh. Anyways, I hope to God. Here's here's all I can expect from this. I hope to God after I've beaten this level. <laughs> Starlight, you're a real one for that. Fucking thank you. You are a real one for going to the effort and doing that. Oh my god. I can't wait for W D Dasker W D Gasper? W D Casper. W D Dinkley. W D from Arthur. D W from the CW. I'm saying nothing at this point. <laughs> I can't- oh my god, wouldn't it be the funniest thing if WD Daster was just completely irrelevant to Deltarune? No! What?! No. I need to see this. I need to see this immediately. Holy shit. What? 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 Fuss- fucking Gaster- WD Gaster- Gaster Blaster rap in his master. Oh my god, I am fucking. I'm losing my actual. I'm losing my mind here. I really do hope there's another Monkey Ball game soon. Like, uh, like an original game, not just a fucking. Not just either a port or a remake. I want there to be a, a full new Monkey Ball game so badly. Okay. Oh god. What? What? Huh? Okay, Monkey Ball is literally dying in the background. I fucking- I'm trying to get this- I'm trying to get this fucking thing up and literally it's dying in the background. What the fuck? What the fuck? I... <sighs> I... I... I just... <sighs> Man... Man... <sighs> what the fuck? I just want to hear W.D. Gasper... Gasper? Why do I keep saying that? I keep saying W.D. Gasper. That's not his name. That's not his name. Okay, hang on. Here he is.
Bro, he is straight up spitting fire. Yo, he could fucking he could beat Biggie Smalls any day of the week. The way he brings it around town, you fucking get it. Like, look at him. He is fucking breaking this shit down. Good for fucking Peepaw. I'm fucking in love with him. Can I buy, like, 20,000 of his albums? Yeah, I'm fucking giving him my credit card information right now. Hang on. Um, hey, Mr. Gaster, uh, my credit card number is... <laughs> Top 10 rappers Eminem was afraid to diss. You fucking understand. You get it. Gaster was too strong. Gaster. Gaster's blaster. He truly did. He truly did win the war. What the fuck? What is happening tonight? Ev is my computer haunted? Fucking my volume mixer crashed. Oh my god, I can't open up the volume mixer again. Oh, monkey ball crashed! Oh my god! Unfucking real. Un. <laughs> what the fuck? What is happening tonight? I swear to god. Okay. I. I I guess I should have checked the fuck- Oh my god, everything, everything is fucking going off the rails. There we go, oh my god. I'm gonna go to a quick- I gotta go soon, so a uh, quick rant before I go. So, like, my time wasn't actually composed for Amori. It's actually probably the only song in the soundtrack that's like that. It was composed independently for an album, Pale Machine, which was, like, released basically at the same time as the original Amori trailer. Which was used for a BGM. Oh, that's back. Okay, interesting. Okay, huh. Fair enough, though. It's a good song. It's a good game. It's a good song, though. Story. When I first heard, when I heard it my first time, when I first heard that my time was originally part of a separate album. Assuming it would be a remix, but no, it's the same song just sped up. That's extraordinarily funny. Why did Elmo Cat do that? Why did Elmo Cat do that? Yeah, it's like yeah, it's just slightly sped up. That's so bizarre. Oh, I didn't even it didn't even save the progress for the rest of them. Oh my god. I hope to god the world actually just completes after this, because straight up, if I can't access anything further, that'd be so fucking strange. I was, I, I, there's actually a readme note in the, the fucking- there actually is a readme note in the, uh, that, that came with this, so I should probably look at that. What? It just crushes you? Okay. Yeah, that that is extraordinarily bizarre. Was it even was it even used with permission? But yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye, Starlight. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it a lot. I hope you have a wonderful evening. You take care and uh, good night. Uh, bye bye. Probably was okay. Yeah, I figured it was, but it it's just. <clears throat> It's very funny to me that it's just slightly sped up. Like it's trying to avoid its, like o like Omo Cat is trying to avoid the copyright on it, which is in itself a very bizarre thing to even think about for a moment. Oh, oh, this explains. Okay, this explains it actually. It was actually used in the final game, which was released many years later. At some point, Bo N had been found out and about. What do you mean found out about? I'm not- I'm not sure I understand. Like... Discovered? It's still possible the speeding up was just because the original song was made for a very long trailer credit. That is also pop. That's actually probably the most likely theory. I just think it's very- I- I don't know. 
that is that's the most likely theory. I don't know why I almost just said I think it'd be still very funny if it was just Omocat used it without permission. But no, I definitely think Omocat used it permission. Yeah, he definitely would have known by now. That's fair. Yeah, no. It's just bizarre. I don't know. Okay, go, go, monkey, monkey! I, 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 I swear to God, I, I. Even, even sped up, it doesn't play fully in the credits. That makes sense. That's, oh my God. Guys, we need to pad out the credits for for to make to make way for this five minute song. What do we do? Uh, speed it up. Yeah, we can speed it up. Uh, what else? What else do we do about this? Um, make it impossible to find in the game. Cool, good theory. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! No! 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 <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, this is actually probably the easiest route. This is probably the easiest route we can do, so I'll, I'll go for it. Um, I am getting a hang of this stage. If this is the final stage of this entire... It can't be. Okay, so the reason... Okay, so I want to talk... I'm going to talk about this. This is supposed to be a full, like... Like, a fully made ROM hack. Like, this is, like, got a shit ton of, um... A shit ton of levels. And the reason I know that is because I've seen a full video of... I've seen a video of... The gameplay of this state of of this of this ROM hack. I know that there's at least like a few worlds worth of levels. So I, and in fact, I don't even remember seeing this one. I don't even remember seeing this one at all. Unless this ROM hack is just one big troll, in which there's only f in which they published only four levels but showed off like a shit ton more. I don't know. Oh god. Oh god. Goodbye. Yeah, original one's five minutes. OST is like three minutes and thirty seconds. Oh my god, they sped it up by a lot. Holy shit. Awesome. Goodbye. <sighs> I do actually miss Amori. Amori was good. I, I, yeah, yeah, that's that's the only thing I have to say about Omori. Omori good. And it's... Whatever. It's fine. Uh, granted, there's also this kind of longish section with ambient noise at the end of the album version, since it's also the ending of the album, transferring back to the early songs. Oh, that's a really cool thing. I love I love albums, like, doing, like... I almost said Mobius Reach Around stuff. I just meant, like, just looping back to it, it looping back to the start is a very cool decision. Mobius, I, Mobius reaching around is such a funny term to put for this. That's just, that's Homestuck. That's just a Homestuck thing. I've just described fucking Act 5, Act 1. I mean, to be fair, it's not like I'm not Homestuck Poison. Mobius? Xenoblade Chronicles 3 mentioned. <gasps> no way. No, 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 no way. No way. Ryan! Ryan, have you heard about, have you heard about Mobius from Xenoblade Chronicles 3? Shulk, what are you talking about? I can see the future. His name is Mobius. Shulk, I think you Shulk, I think you need to put down the Minato. Wine. Wine. This kid. His name is Rex. And he has two friends, Pyra and Mithra. They're his swords. And he's going to grow up very hot. Donban, did this ever happen to you? No. I don't know what he's going on about. It's a, uh, I know it's a very common system, uh, plus, uh, being actually mentioned, but it's really funny when everyone gets mentioned. Oh, yeah, no. It's, I think it's always very funny to just, like, say a, say a reference to something and then completely, like, joke about it being something else. No, I, I, I think it's I think that's very funny in itself. The Raff the Raffronts is not the Raffronts. Okay, let's go. 
Mm, no, I need to wait for this other side, I think. Okay, go. Okay, go. There is a switch. Oh my god, okay. Okay, fine. Okay. I'm normal, I'm normal, I'm normal, I'm normal. Okay, okay, okay. Eight, seven. Fuck! I should have actually checked to see the stage. I should have seen what changed with the stage then, honestly. Tears of Kingdom and Splatoon 3 using Ouroboros stuff was really funny. In what way did they use Ouroboros stuff, actually? I'm, I, I, I'm actually... I actually don't remember there being Ouroboros stuff in either game. I know there's a lot of, like, dragon slash eel imagery in both. But, like, I don't remember partic particular any Ouroboros mentionings. God, it's actually crazy to think about how the year is almost over. Like, we are about to enter November, and, like, then it will be December, and then it'll be 2024. That's crazy. That's crazy to think about, actually. I definitely think, do think that the game of the year is Tears of the Kingdom, 100%. Like, I definitely. I, this year, I. Yes, this year, this year in particular is interesting because I played uh, just a lot less games overall this year than I had than I did like last year. Um, so in that way, like, I think there are less games overall. But like, definitely number one for me this year was Tears of the Kingdom, and second and number two was 100%. I just got crushed. Fuck. Whatever. And then number two is definitely Omori. Absolutely. Oh yeah, the Horoboros. I completely fucking forgot about that. I'm stupid. Here's the thing. Um, I know I just played Splatoon 3 on Saturday. We just played Splatfest. Um, I know this. Uh, I haven't played Salmon Run a lot recently. Salmon Run has just kind of gone... Like, this is an interesting thing to talk about here. Salmon Run in Splatoon 3 has become like like very difficult like it's just very difficult in comparison to its contemporary platoon 2 um it's just a lot lot it's a lot harder in that in that way honestly it is a little bit more annoying to actually play overall like i'm less interested in playing salmon run because of that it's still a good game mode and like you can still i still have a lot of fun with it but at the same time it is more difficult overall i don't know Tears of Kingdom with more iconography, the title, and the dragon, and, and the, the dragon triple things. Okay, that's fair. I guess. The Ouroboros. This is the year of the Ouroboros. Guys, this is the year of the Ouroboros. Actually, what year is- hold on, in the Chinese Zodiac, what is this year? What is- what is this year, actually? I don't know. Um, it might be year, I think it's, I think this year was Year of the Ox, I think? I might be wrong about that, I might be completely wrong about that, but I think this year was the Year of the Ox. Okay, stop. Oh, uh, view stage, where do I go now? Wait, is that a... That's an arrow. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I have to. Oh, I have to fucking transfer platforms. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm gritting my teeth. Okay, this is this is, this is tough, but it's fine. And page, apparently, in the new season of Loki has a character named Ouroboros and um, and Mobius. Yes, Mobius is a character that. Mobius was the secondary main character from last season. Like, Mobius has been a character in the Loki show from from season one. I did know there was someone named Ouroboros, though, there. That's interesting. I mean, I do want to watch Loki season two, but I, again, like, I, I'm kind of with you here. I, I'm just tired of Marvel. Marvel used to be cool and interesting, and now I can't care less about it. It just kind of sucks. It, it like they, the MCU has just drained me. I I just don't care at this point. 
Like, there's not really gonna be a way to bring me back. I I haven't paid attention to basically anything from it the last in this last year. The only th the okay, that's fine. I'm normal. I'm not normal. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, the the only thing here is that maybe I want to see Guardians three, but that's about it. I don't. I just don't care otherwise. I heard Ant Man. And, I heard Ant Man of the Wasp is just embarrassingly bad though. Like, I've seen a few reviews of it, and it just like. I just think about how they fucking photoshopped that guy's head. They just... Uh, it, it, the CGI just looks so fucking awful for him. And if that's kind of the point, it's definitely a weird point to make. I don't know. I'm glad that the... I'm glad that, I, that the Marvel uh, VXF team actually has been unionized now. They actually, they actually, like, are unionized now. As such, like, I don't think they'll be pushed around as much as they have been previously. Thank God. Hello? I, I. Dude. Dude, get on the switch. Oh my god. That wasted so much time. He just, he was just standing around it. Bro was literally just standing around it. Oh my god. Fuck. I know everyone likes, uh, Shang-Chi, but that was probably my breaking point with how formula could felt. I did not see Shang-Chi. Um, I did not particularly care to, to see it. Um, like, and, like, at this point, the only, the only reason I would be going to see a Marvel movie in theaters is because my family wants to go see it. None of us wanted to go see Shang, uh, Shang-Chi. We had no interest in it. I've heard, I mean, like, yeah, I've actually heard it's decent. I've heard it's a, I say, decent modern Marvel film. But I also just kind of don't want... I just don't want it. I don't know. Like, I just... I don't care. I'm just... I really am, like... I am I am, I am Marvel about it, and I just... It, I don't know. It's... A strange thing to talk about. I'm not gonna make it. I, oh, I did actually make it. Damn it. Dude, that's also why I've watched... I watched the reason because my family wanted to. Yeah, no, exactly. I, that's the only reason I would, I'm gonna go do it. And even then, like, I think we're all just Marvel about. Like, my family and I, I think we, each and every one of us just has no interest in Marvel at this point. It's really just apathy at this point. Yeah, 100%. Like, this, in, this, this year for Disney is going to be one of the most interesting years in its entire history just because of how, like, little fanfare Disney has actually had. Like, Disney is actually kind of in a weird spot. Because no one wants to watch its products. It has all of these different franchises and all these different, like, different IPs that it can bank on, and no one cares for them at all. Like, I don't know a single person that is interested in going to see the new Disney movie, Wish. Like, no one. No one I know has any interest in saying Wish. Oh my god, where is it? Motherfucker! Yes, continue. Where was the exit? Hold on. No, I need to look at this now. Uh, view stage. Is there... Did, did it... Is it there? It is there. So... What do I do with that? I... This stage is very weird. I am trying to figure this out. I mean, I've hit, I, I've gotten to a switch now, but I have no idea what the fuck it does. I thought it actually opened up that back. I don't think it does. Unless this is an experiment where I have to test to see which button will actually do the thing I need. I have no idea. Now that I think about it, I basically have no idea what I'm doing with this stage. But, you know, I, I think the best thing to do here is experiment. I'm gonna go to the... Yeah, okay. Nope, that was a bad move. I'm gonna wait. I'll wait for this next one. Never mind. Goodbye. I love Monkey Ball. Sometimes the stages are not... Sometimes the stages are not designed with the camera in mind. Um... 
Yeah, I'm just gonna. Fuck, I have to experiment. I have to. I have to experiment, actually. You know, I also saw, I also saw, in addition to seeing the FNAF movie, I also saw the original Halloween, Halloween film. Um, actually, I guess I saw it literally on the same day, now that I think about it. I didn't actually really consider that until now. I did see it on the same day. Um, I thought I had seen the original Halloween before, but I don't think I actually have. Um, they just, they don't make horror movies like that anymore. It's, it's really true. Modern horror has completely changed. And it's not to say that, like, things shouldn't change, ever. No, of course not. It's just more that, like, damn, it's really clear how much they've tried, like, Hollywood has tried to monopolize off the horror genre, and how much they continue to do it. Um, like, just, like, the most recent Halloween films, like, okay, I, I saw Halloween Kills in theaters. I did not see Halloween Ends in theaters. I, I, we saw Halloween Kills in theaters, my family and I. And, like, it was bad. It was ridiculously bad. It was unbelievably bad. And especially because, like, I really liked Hall I really liked the reboot Halloween. The, the 2018 one. I really liked that movie. Halloween Kills was embarrassingly bad, actually. I was laughing throughout the entire time. Mostly because, um, anytime Michael showed up, I just kind of went... I, I, anytime Michael showed up on screen, I just went, <gasps> Michael! Because it was so fucking... Because it's so... It, because I, I, I heard about a story about uh, another person's deer going experience where they just straight up heard just in the background all they would hear from one of the audience members is just every time Michael showed up on screen they would go oh, Michael so I did that and honestly it made the movie ten times more bearable but I did not see Halloween ends and I have no interest in seeing it mostly because I Halloween kills sucked Michael, it's your birthday today. Exactly. I also th I was also thinking about that when I when I went to see Halloween the original on on Saturday. Michael, it's your birthday today. Cake and ice cream, it's on it's on your way. And Michael. But in that way, like after the movie, I just kind of I sat down and I kind of just looked at like the history of the Halloween franchise, and I did not actually realize how many Halloween films that there were. There's 11 Halloween films, one of which is not even about Michael Myers. Apparently in Halloween 3, Curse of the Witch is not a movie about Michael Myers at all. It's um, apparently a complete, it's it's a completely different antagonist with a completely di different set of uh, characters, uh, which is in itself very baffling. I mean, John Carpenter intent. John Carpenter and his uh, the other people who directed it intended Halloween the series to be a anthology series, which is interesting. If they wanted that, they definitely probably shouldn't have made Halloween two to be Michael Myers again. But it's fascinating that there's an entire movie out of the series where Michael Myers doesn't exist. I love that I found named Michael, so I can send that to him every year. I have a friend named Michael, but he does not go by that, so, like, we don't ever, like, you know, like, I'm not sending him that. But still, at the same time, like, every birth, like, like, a birthday tradition for one of my friends and one of my friend groups and I is literally that, you know, we'll just literally put on Michael, it's your birthday today for that person's birthday. Because it's good. Michael, it's your birthday today. Cake and ice cream is on your way. And Michael. What is that even from? I, I don't actually know what the fuck that's from. I have no idea. To be fair, neither does mine, but we still have fun about it. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I don't know where Michael It's Your Today comes from. Is that is that an original thing that just happened, or am I fucking crazy? Did, did like... I want to know now. But you don't know? I, I only know, Michael, it's your birthday day. I don't know what the orig- I don't know where it comes from. Now that I fucking think about it. I actually am wondering, is there- is there a reason to even press the buttons? I- I don't know. I am actually gonna try to just- just scoot across here. Yeah, I'm- I'm kinda wondering if I should just- 
get to the tower and then see what's at the back. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's from Rat Movie 2, the movie? Oh, okay. Right, okay, that's why it's Jerma. That's why it's Jerma associated. Okay, no, okay, I, I've seen Rat, I've seen Rat 2, the movie. I, I just generally forgot that. Rat Movie 2, the movie. I, yeah, I, I've just, I've completely forgotten about that. Yeah, no, that explains why it's Jerma, it's Jerma related. And that's why there's, like, in the animated versions, there's people who do the giant rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. God, love that funny rat. E, I should not have pulled back so soon, but it's fine. Yeah, I really am just trying to get to the tower at this point. I just want to see what's back there. Still holding back just a little bit too far. Shit. Surprise, I kill you now. <laughs> I gotta fucking watch the rap movies again. It's been a hot second. God. It's a di it, different different rap movie, but I am thinking now about fucking um Okay. Cool, I'm here now. So, if I go all the way to the back. What? Hold on. We're there. So, what is that? What even is there? Huh? Yeah, now we're at the back. We're at this back square, so... I'm assuming that actually lowers when we're done? I'm guessing. They truly don't make horror like they used to. So true! So true, actually. I... I will forever miss... I don't know. Like, it, it's... There is still good horror nowadays, and, like, I really do think that, like, the best horror projects that we are seeing in the modern era are coming from the internet. Like, you know, people's ARGs or unreality medias. Like, it... it these things are... The, the... These are the things that, like, are actually coming around to be horror, and that's, uh, that's really cool in itself. Although, I think people are considering Skibbity Toilet to be horror, which is maybe an insane statement, actually. Skibbity Toilet is not horror. I mean, it is horrifying, but it's not horror, the genre. Like, I don't get what people are saying about... I, I, I don't get how why people are saying this. In all honesty, I'm not into that. I'm not that much into horror. I'm weak. That's fair. I get. I get it. Horror is a controversial genre because people, not everyone, likes horror, and I completely respect that. However, horror is one of my favorite genres. I. I actually, that's a. I don't think I've ever really said that out loud, but like, I think that's true. I love horror as a genre. I used to. I used to not like horror as a genre. Period. But then, I. I think it really was internet horror. Internet horror kind of changed my mind. Um. I kind of got turned around because, like, I really do think that we are kind of just looking at a rena- we were just- we were looking at a very big renaissance of, like, horror as a genre, and I think it's really cool anyways. Nice. I love it when games aren't strictly horror dip into it. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, I think horror has a- like, not every piece of horror has to be a horror- like, directly the genre of horror. Like, I really do think that some of- I really do think when things decide to dip into horror, they work fair. They can do some incredible things. Because it, 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 it's eliciting a new reaction on you, a new emotion, which is fear. The fear emotion. That sounds stupid. I can't believe- that, that sounds a little bit stupid for me to say, the horror emotion. The, the fear emotion. Guys, it, 
Guys, real life is just like Amori. Guys, real life, it's just like Amori. But no, but like, for real, actually. Oh my god, Bug Fables Chapter 7 is insane. I, like, I still think about Bug Fables Chapter 7. Because it's such a... It is horror. And it's really good horror. It sets up the mood for the finale so well. Like, oh my god, how did they fucking even think about that shit? It is... It's fucking freaky as fuck. I also, like, one of my childhood things is that one of my childhood, like, scares is, um, the Diamond and Pearl Mansion. In Eterna Forest, there's the, there's the, there's the, uh, Eterna Mansion, which is abandoned. However, uh, specifically, it has, you can encounter a few different ghosts throughout the entire manor. And as a kid, that fucked me up. That was a crazy thing. That was a crazy thing to experience. Like, I was so obsessed with it. It was like, oh my god, how do I trigger this? How do I trigger this? And, like, like, I got both, I've gotten, as a kid, I got both, um, both in Diamond and Pearl, both of the, both of the ghosts in Diamond and Pearl that, that spawn naturally. I got the one that walks into the room, into the, into the room, the little girl that walks into the room and then walks out and then you can't encounter her again. And then I also got the ghost butler. That's just fucking insane. It's really cool. I've been there, yeah. It's just wild. Ah! Octopath 2 has a similar manner now that I think about it. I I have not played Octopath. I have not played the original Octopath. Uh, I kind of want to. I don't own the game per se, but I do actually want to give it a try. It's just I've heard it's really good. It's just very funny. Um. I think it's just very funny to me, just the Square Enix RPGs that I, that interest me that I have not played outside of outside the Final Fantasy series. Like I have a copy of Brave Early Default for the 3DS that I have not touched because I heard it was a really good RPG and I was like, oh, that's so cool! I'm gonna try to play it. And then I also heard that apparently you have to play the game like three times in order to beat the story. And that's always kind of turned me off from really can, from really starting it. And then there's Octopath Traveler, which looks really cool, but I have not even given it a shot yet. Okay. Okay, cool. Poggers. Ugh, this sucks. Fuck. Fuck! If I recall correctly, there's also one in you know, but is there? I don't remember. I do not remember, per se. There might be. I well, I just don't remember, per se. Not off the top of my head. God damn it. I've made that before. It's just a very tight cycle. I really want to play. I really got to play fucking black and white again. Oh, come on! Nar! Nar! Fucked up. Um, I really do want to play the original Black and White again so badly. I've... Like, I really did want to play it on stream, uh, like, three years ago. Like, the... I... Okay, so, for a little bit of context here, for anyone that has not... That, that doesn't know the Valent Wind lore, um... During my first year of streaming, I did actually intend to do a Black and White... Uh, Nuzlocke, a uh, randomized Nuzlocke, and uh, back then I had a laptop that had been going, that was now, that was going on roughly like four years, and uh, it just would not run Desmu or like any of the DS emulators well. I figured that out, unfortunately, and I had to scrap the plans, and that's actually where it's... Uh, to be fair, that came after... It came, uh, figuring out that it didn't work on my laptop came after the first April Fool's joke that I did, which was uh, Pokemon, Black and, Pokemon Black and White uh, nu uh, Hardcore Nuzlocke, 
which is a stupid, which is a stupid stream that I still think is very funny, honestly. I don't know. Octopath's good. Uh, the first game definitely suffers its fall. The second is good, but it's pretty universally, pretty universally considered better. Really, really, that's interesting. Okay, cool. Good for it. Good for the good for the it. Actually, hold on, nobody. I'm now curious. Have you played uh, Project Triangle? Uh, pro uh, Project uh, Triangle. Fuck, what is it actually called? Uh, it is called Project Triangle something. And I'm... Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. We're good. Tri Project Triangle strategy. There we go. Thank you. Ooh, that was close. I've not played it, no. I see. Fair enough. I, just, I really haven't heard anyone talk about that one since the demo came out. And I know the game is out, but like I've heard just no one talk about it, period. What? I'm here! What do I do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this stage. I've heard people talk about it immediately very little. Fair enough. I... What? I... You know what, hold on. I'm gonna look at the video here. Is this level even in the game? What the fuck? What do you mean? Hold on. I'm looking at this. The very first level of the very first level of the hack in this video is completely different. I'm this is so bizarre. Okay, I fuck, man. I do want to finish this level. I want to I want to finish this level. I honestly might have to like personally I might have to DM the hack creator and ask what 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 is going on. Because as far as I'm aware, this is the only way to actually engage with... I mean, you don't get the... I don't believe you get the free play until you've done the story mode. So, I don't know. Truly, truly stinky. Truly bizarre. Uh-oh. Go. Go. I, I, go. I, go. You stay. E, that is a bad time for this. It's fine. I don't know. I... I think the next RPG I'm going to play for myself is the Super Mario RPG remake when that comes out next month. Like, I don't... I don't know that I'm going to play another RPG until, uh, like... Like, I, I'm still... On, I'm still playing Super Mario Wonder right now. I'm current... I'm now on World 3, because I'm not playing- I'm playing the game in smaller chunks, I'm playing the game really in about, like, um, yeah, I'm playing- I'm playing, like, maybe, like, five, six levels a night. Like, I don't- I, I don't- again, I don't really- I've, I've talked about this before, I don't really, like, really like binging media anymore, and that includes video games, I don't really like to- play a full game in a night unless it's unless it's short enough but mario but mario wonder is a you know expansive game it's pretty big um and i've also been trying to 100 percent it because i feel like i can definitely 100 percent this game but yeah i don't know that i'm gonna be playing another rpg before the end of the year i guess i'll be doing the T, uh, no, the, the Indigo Disc when that comes out. 
I really do hope the Indigo Disc is better than the, the Teal Mask. I don't really I don't really care for the story of the Teal Mask except for the 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 post the post game side quest that there is. That's the only thing I care about. Really. I don't know. We'll see. Fuck! Good I? Into the fucking castle walls. You know, okay. You know, speaking of castles, though. Um, when I was a kid, there was a... Uh, you know, when I was a kid, Blockbuster was still around. And when Blockbuster was still around, um, one, like, fall season, uh, I got a VHS for Goosebumps. And it was, a, it was an episode based around, like... The, this group of kids getting sent to like I believe like the medieval ages or like something and they end up like in a castle being chased by a um, by an evil knight who's trying to kill them and apparently this was a two-parter episode I actually don't know if, I don't actually know if Goosebumps episodes are like one part or two or if they're all like if most of them are individual episodes, and then half the like uh, the other half are like double feature like episodes. Regardless, here the VHS that like had the episode on it, like it was apparently a two-parter, and I didn't know that I didn't know it when I rented it at the time. But I watched it, and like these kids at the very end of the episode are still stuck inside the castle, being chased by this evil knight who wants them dead, and like then the VHS ended. And it was just kind of Jover. Like, my kid brain was like, oh my god, they are trapped there forever. They're never going to escape. They are going to die. It was such a brutal thing for, like, kid me to have to, like, contemplate there. I was like, it would terrify me. It terrified me, the idea that they, it was just dead. It was just dead. Like, what the fuck? Those kids, they're dead. They got chased to death by that knight. He got them. What happens? It's just over. Um, I should actually... I really should, now that I think about it, just go looking up to see, like, what Goosebumps episode that was. And, like, if I can watch it. I think all the Go... I might be wrong about this. I think all the Goosebumps episodes from the original, like, show were up online. Like, I mean, I think they're, like, on YouTube. I think. Maybe. Fuck! Goodbye. Uh, the, the 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 wild nature of being a child and not understanding things and thus being scared by the unknowable. That in itself is just I don't know. Childhood trauma is just childhood like scares and trauma from like horror stuff is just really wild in itself. I don't know. If, hmm. I was trying to think here, like, what what other things, like, did... Okay. Oh, my God. Goodbye. I, I will never escape his fate. He will always be stuck here in this fucking world. I don't know if there's any, like, other real major things. I might have talked about this before on stream. I don't know. But, like, one of my big childhood fears was, um... The fucking dog from Son of the Masks. When it and I'm the dog specifically when it actually has the mask. It I saw a trailer of it as a kid. Uh, I don't know what movie we were seeing, but like I specifically vividly remember that trailer. And that dog, it was so terrifying. The CGI was so fucking scary. I like I just like all my nightmares for months were just about that dog um, where he would chase me down and he would try to like kill me and then one night I I think I finally gained agency in my own dreams and I said no more so I actually set up a trap to kill the dog instead and um I did I literally pushed him down my uh, childhood home stairs um after, set, after he fell into the trap and then he died. He just like kind of like he, he he just died. And then he never came back. He never showed up in my dreams again. 
that's a that's such a it's such a wild thing to actually contemplate. But it's true. It really does go to show that like I know, I just think it I think it's just incredible that like I literally conquered my my fear and then it was no longer scary. Although I've still never seen the movie. Let me I should actually make this very clear. I've still never actually seen the movie. I've never seen Through the Mask still. Although I should. Maybe I should actually do that to like truly conquer the fear. Yeah, I'm here. I have no idea what to do in this level. I have no idea to do I have no idea what to do in that level. My only idea is that I need to hit all three buttons, or it's one specific button that I need to do, and that's really fucking bat shit. You didn't get any play points. You're dead. You died. I am now wondering about something. Oh, I'm dead. The stream died anyways. Hi to VOD watchers. Um, I guess stream died, Lamau. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually take this intermission while it is dead. Um, I am gonna do something here very briefly. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I am gonna do this. I'm going to see if I can cheat and get all levels open maybe I have no idea actually oh did my entire internet die no my entire internet did not die hello hello am I back Well, if you are, if you can hear me, um, I, uh, no, actually, I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong with the mod. I actually don't really know. I don't even, I don't really know if it's actually worth the effort to try and like, Basically, I was talking to this uh, uh, for while I was still recording here. Actually, um, I was in I was interested in maybe uh, adding a cheat code to unlock all levels. Uh, however, uh, I don't know that I even have really the time to do that. So I actually really don't know. Um, I'm gonna read this out loud though. Uh, still thinking about Knockbath 2, especially can be uh, comically, com comedically gay at times. One of the side quests straight up has Protag's sister being all like, if I were looking for a wife, I'd want her to just be like you, and it's just continuously brought up. The girl the girl the sister is talking to gives her an earring she was told to save for someone special and replied with, you should come visit sometime, as my wife will like it. Like, what? Hello? Yeah, no, that's just straight homo. That is just flat out homosexual. And you know, I love that for them. I love that for them, actually. I don't even think that's, com it is, it is funny. Don't get me wrong, it is actually funny, but it, it is, that's just straight up homo. This is the first level. I chose story mode. The All the levels were actually in here. Okay. I 
should have actually left in here, and I didn't. Oh my god. Oh my god. I actually feel extraordinarily embarrassed now, but fine. Okay. I should have... Okay. Live and learn, I suppose. Oh god. Uh, good to know that... I'm glad that there's not a life count, instead there's a death count. That's honestly appreciated. Oh, good night. I'm... Jesus. What is this track? I'd love to know what the fucking music is for this, because that's a... There's actually been some pretty big tracks actually. Chad, am I just bad at this? Oh my god. Trying to round these corners is getting to my nerve. Bro. Bro, I'm just straight up trying to monkey ball. There's another pair of one where one's playing, uh, with one that needs a bodyguard for the other and wants to suffer the iron bar so you think a bodyguard, like, holy shit, I know what you are. True. Oh my god. Oh, that's, I love that, though. That's, that's fantastic. Truly, truly homosexual. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. I just fell between the gap. Oh my god. I might have to do this all in one fell swoop. Which is a little bit sucks, but fine, I guess. Ugh. I'm glad. I'm glad we're getting more homo. We need, we need so much homo in this world. I watched, yeah, actually recently I watched a show, it's called, uh, Captain Laser Heart. It's a, it's a Ubisoft show, it's, it's, it's a, it's a show, like, dedicated to, like, all these Ubisoft, like, it's a mix match of all these Ubisoft properties put together in, like, a unique story, which, and it's, honestly, it's cool, it's bizarre, it's strange, um, I've heard of it, yeah, it's where, like, everyone's now getting these new, like, Rain Man clips from, it's where, Rayman basically goes through an arc of being a the face of a prop of a fascist state to being kicked off being the face of the prop of the fascist state to um, literally becoming a terrorist and like killing most of the leaders of the fascist state by gunning them down and uh, stopping the execution of one of the main characters. It's Without context, it seems fucking insane, but actually, it's, like, really fascinating, genuinely. I respect- it's a- it's honestly very wild. I think it might be a little bit too short. It's- it's only six episodes of- It's only six- it's only six episodes, and they're all 32 they're all 30 minutes each. Like, I wish there was a little bit more meat on this bone for season one. I think there will probably be another season. Maybe, who knows? But like it's definitely crazy. Um the whole point here that I'm trying to say is that the, the main character is gay. The main character literally like is kissing his partner in the first episode. Like they literally do a heist together and they're seen actually just straight up making out. That was cool. We just need more- we just need more homo in this world. That's what matters to me. I'm gonna be real here. I'm just gonna go back and finish the other level. No, I- well, I can't. I don't even know what- I don't even know what- I don't even know how to finish it, actually. Rayman's video is also the main attack in this anime too. That's insanely funny in itself. Oh my god. No, I actually have to just kind of keep doing this. I'm, I I don't know here. Actually, I'm. 
Huh? Now I'm actually curious. Does this take me to do anything? Oh, this is a main game thing. Oops, okay, it's fine. Yeah, this is like a real main game stage. Okay. It's got some of the it's got some of the best music in the game though. I man. I mean I'll you know I am I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I'll keep I'll keep trying just for a little bit here. Wait, no, I should not do that. I should try to be baby instead. I should be baby. I was seeing a post earlier this week, which was like the the the, the stark difference between uh, VA VAs and their roles. Like sometimes you'll just have like a VA will just be like the Lord of Darkness in one series, and then just be a fucking fish in the other. That post kind of was very funny to me, and that's exactly what it is here. Voice of voice of Rayman, voice of a main antagonist from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In an interview about the affirmation of Tigers, he basically replied, of course, the question whether the, uh, the, char the, the character was guy. I know he meant to say gay, but that's still very funny. Chat, is he gay? Chat, is Rayman gay? The answer is yes, probably. I hope so. It's so funny. I don't know if anyone knows here what Rayman lore at all, but fucking one of the main characters, his name is Globok, Globex, uh, and he literally canonically has fucked. He literally has, he has a wife and he has like had like hundreds of children. It's very funny in that way, and he does not, he does not look like father material. He looks like he's your, he looks like he's a dude out here who is, um, He looks like he's out here drinking Mountain Dew and uh, eating Doritos for 20 days. I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't want to put I don't actually want to say that. He just... He he looks... He does not seem like he would... He is a father. And I, to be fair, I don't think he is raising those children. Maybe he maybe is. I actually don't know. I don't think he is. I do know him. I did not know about the kids part. Yeah, he has like... He has like a few hundred children. It's weird. I almost, wanted, I almost called his wife Globina, which is not her name. Absolutely not. I don't remember what his wife's name is. Um, but it's very funny to imagine it's just Globina. Globina. Oh I do want to play Rayman against more. In fact, I want to. I actually really want to play Rayman too. The Great Escape. That, that one's always been on my eye for a long time. I just have not done it. It's also so wild to me to think that in the data of, uh, I believe in the data of Rayman 2 is actually the prototype for the original Rayman 2 for, uh, the, for the SNES, I believe. No, I don't know where I think Rayman actually was on the original Rayman was on the I believe it was on PlayStation. No. When 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 Rayman 1 was a when Rayman 2 was being developed, it was originally a, intended to be a uh, 2D a 2D game. Like it's a like like the original, except it got turned into a 3D game through development. But uh, you can actually you can actually use a cheat code to actually play a bit of the prototype for it. Which is really insane and I love I miss when game developers used to do that actually oh my god oh my god Lois oh my god This, this is definitely... I don't want to say it's above my skill level, but damn, I did not think it was going to be... The actual game was this... this the, 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 the actual difficulty of this mod was, like, this high. It's fine. Peter! P 
see that it's your wife, Lois. You've been in a coma for 20 years. Your dog, Brian, he's still alive. But they had to surgically attach him to you. He gave you his life. Peter, you're in a coma. The horse you bought 20 years ago, he's here for you. Peter, I love you. I, that's not how Lois sounds at that at that point. I don't even know what voice I was doing, actually. Peter, they call you the Family Guy. Peter, you are the Family Guy. Luckily, there's a Family Guy. Jesus, I hope. That I, I don't, I don't want, I, I, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of hearing about it. To be fair, I don't think I'm, I, like, the last thing I even heard about Family Guy to begin with was the, the whole thing where Lois was just screaming her lungs out because of Peter doing something that I think she set him up to do? I don't know. Family Guy's weird. It's, it's stupid. Family Guy's stupid and dumb and it's whatever. I'm gonna be real here. I, I think I'm. I think I'm done. Um, unfortunately, I just there's not a lot of time left that I have to spend tonight. I, I do feel a little bit boob with the fool because I should have actually tried challenge mode. Instead, I only ever tried story mode, and it just didn't. And it there were levels in there. There were there were levels in there. I don't even know if story mode was supposed to be a finished thing or not. I don't know what's going on there. It's it's fine. It is what it is. I don't want to listen to that. I don't want to listen to the, the hollowed screams of the cornfield. This music is perfectly acceptable to me. Alright. Yep, that is going to do it for me tonight. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate it, as always. Um, I am going to be back, I believe, Thursday for... I think I'm gonna do Metroid Prime. I'm, I think I'm gonna continue Metroid Prime there because I would like. Here's my thing. Um, now that, so this is the it was a fun pain apology surgery to my brain once more. Never apologize. I appreciate nobody. I just appreciate that you are here. It's always good talking to you. I I I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So now that Val so now that Halloween is officially over. And, like, you know, the Halloween season's about to be over. Um, you know, I'm gonna... I really do want to, like, try to finish the games that we started... That we've started this year. And they're still going on. Like, I do want to finish Metroid Prime before the end of the year. I want to finish Pokemon Ranger before the end of the year. Uh, these are things that I want to make sure that we get through. Because I... Because it would be nice to start the year fresh, but also, like, I just want to... I want to just want to get through them. So, yeah, uh, I do think Thursday we'll be playing Metroid Prime... We'll continue with that as we'll, we'll, we're just on artifact hunting. We're just questing for those funny ar artifacts. But yeah, until then, thank you all again so much. Hope you all have a wonderful evening. Y'all take care. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hello! Oh. Is that just. Is that. Hold on, wait. Hi! Is that actually UBQ? It's- oh my god, hi! Welcome! I'm- I'm literally ending stream right now. I'm fucking- I'm fucking leaving. However, I appreciate the follow so much. I love you too. Thank you for joining me at the very- yeah, no, I'm literally ending. I gotta fucking go. It's- I appreciate it regardless, though. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for joining us at the very end. Oh my god. Bye, bestie. I'll fucking- I'll fucking talk to you later. Oh my god. I'm screaming. This is so fucking funny. Yeah, alright, gang. I will see you all Thursday. Have a good evening. Y'all take care. Uh, good night. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs>